we're joined right now on RareCulture.com by James Peck. He is a farmer uh, from the UK. Welcome today, uh, James. Thank you. James, you're going to speak at Farm Tech 2012 here today or this week about your operation in uh, in the UK. What does your farming operation look like? Uh, well, we're based just outside uh, Cambridge, about four miles, which is about an hour up from London. And we're in a, a predominantly an arable farming area. There's very little livestock. I think there's only one dairy herd in the whole of Cambridgeshire, and it's the second largest county. Uh, my business is um, based on uh, grain storage, grain lorries, and uh, farming, where we would concentrate on canola and uh, wheat. And that would be our crops. Yeah. So, uh, if you don't mind telling us, how big is your farm? Uh, it's 5,700 acres. Now that's got to be a very large farm for the UK. 5,000 acres? It is for the UK, yeah. yeah. But I don't own all of it, sadly. That's fine. I've got ambition to own it, but I don't <laughs> so far. Um, we own uh, 880 acres the family own, which I contract farm for my father, which is effectively a rent. And then I rent uh, another 13 farms uh, off local people in about an eight mile radius. And we've recently um, just going through at the moment to buy 442 acres myself, which I'm hoping will be completed when I get back uh, next week. So in running a large firm in the UK, what are, I expect there's some, there is some challenges. What are some of those challenges? Um, availability of land. I think that that is a problem around the world. But in the UK, we have a, a subsidy system. So you effectively can have inefficient farming and that doesn't release land so it's quite difficult to get hold of but you know we're working on that and you know the system is that we contract farming what we specialize in we rent the farm from people but pay them a percentage of profits back so that then for tax reasons they are still a principal farmer um, and so, that, isn't it, so it's not a cash rent situation it's what we would call a crop share if you like yeah yeah so so in crudest terms what would happen is that uh, I would come to you and I would say, you keep your single farm payment, which is the government payment, which would be about £100 an acre, and I pay me £90 an acre to do all the work, and then we'll split the profit 50-50. So they'll actually, because as my business gets larger and scale, they become more profitable. Is it hard in the UK to get uh, to get uh, credit or financing from a bank for farming? Or well, that's one of the things I'm going to talk about. Is actually I've managed to get 100% finance for this new bit of land I'm buying, which is unheard of. Normally they work on a sort of a 40% uh, from the farmer, and the bank would uh, 100%. Uh, 100%. Yeah. So how, how does that work? Well, I, I still can't quite get my mind around it, but it's been uh, it, it's, it's great news for me because as a, as a person with very little asset wealth. This enabled me to get my foot on the ladder, and uh, you know I've, I'm looking for three million pounds, which in your money would I think would be about five million. So it's a lot of money I'm asking for, and I believe that the banks must have worked out that we're buying land at the moment for eight thousand sterling, and in your money that would be just over eleven thousand Canadian dollars. I believe they believe it's going to go to twelve thousand pounds an acre. So that's a substantial increase, but but land five years ago was three thousand an acre, so it's had a sharp increase, which is amazing considering that actually profits have gone down on farms, and and the price of wheat has gone down, but but land values have gone soaring high. So what is the profitability like of, for uh, for English farmers right now? Depending upon your, your size of your business and your efficiencies of scale, because at the end of the day, scale plays a big part in, in profitability. And, and as we've got larger, our attention to detail has improved and also our profitability has improved. You'd be looking at, if, you, if I was farming your land, I would be looking to return to you £200 an acre. So there obviously is profit there then if you can do that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned you're farming a set where you're renting land. Most of the land is rented from, from neighbours and from yes. family members. That's becoming more of a popular situation here in Canada, in Western Canada oh, right. as well, right? Yeah. And in, in Ontario. Do you, you're a young guy. Yeah. Do, do you think that uh, today's younger generation of farmers is not as tied to I have to buy the land? More, they're more working their farms based on maybe a cash basis than they would say buying, you know, having having to own the asset to farm it. Yes, we see with contract farming, the beauty of that is for a young person that wants to progress their business is that the seed, fertiliser and chemicals, effectively the variable cost, is funded by the, by the landowner. Because to be seen 
to um, be a principal farmer, they have to fund the variable costs. So that means for a young person, they haven't suddenly got to find asset to be able to get a loan to, to effectively re A, rent the land and B, fund it. So that's what has enabled me to be able to grow my business. And for younger people wanting to get into it, I think the other advantage of happening is that the people who truly want to farm are going to farm in the future. And the ones who really don't want to have got other opportunities and will go elsewhere. So I believe that actually the future is quite bright for the younger generation. Yeah, because the younger generation, you know, if you're not asset wealthy to begin with, yeah. to buy land for £12,000 an acre... It's just not going to happen. Impossible. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. You've got to get a business going first. And, and I've found a way to do it based on effectively other people funding the input costs and then we settle up 15 months later and that's enabled me to build a business. I would not have been able to build a business the scale I have if I had to lease the land and pay for all the inputs.